It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Na 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 na. It's the holidays, and so I thought we should have a special episode of World Food where we cook holiday food. And we're gonna start with the king of all cakes, Bolre, traditionally from Portugal, yours truly. And then we're gonna move to something I miss from when I lived in the Netherlands, pepernoten, the little cinnamony and other spices biscuits that are delicious. But, oh, what's that you ask? It's something I'm painting, don't worry about it, it's for next video. But now, let's go to the kitchen. Whoop! To start making our dough, we need to activate our yeast. So we're gonna put it in a cup with warm milk, a bit of sugar, and flour. Give it a good start and let it rest for a few minutes until it's all foamy like this. Then in the bowl, we're also gonna add a couple eggs, orange and lemon zest, soft butter, and sugar. And while it's combining, I'll slowly add in the flour. Not sure if adding it slowly does anything, but I felt like doing it this way. Oh shoot, I forgot the pork. Pour a glass for yourself. Doesn't matter if you're baking this in the morning or not, like I am. Add a bit to the dough, along with a bunch more flour, because this dough is super wet. Once everything is well combined, I shaped it into a little ball and let it relax for a few minutes. Now we're gonna add the fillings. We need a bunch of chopped up nuts, small crystallized fruits, raisins, and a special ingredient, crystallized ginger. But don't tell my dad, because he hates it. <laughs> but these are so good! We stretch our dough and just keep adding stuff until it feels like he can't take any more. And then we keep going and add a few more. We dust the bowl with a little flour so it doesn't stick and now it's gonna ferment for a few hours. While this rests, we can get started on the paper noten. These little delicious biscuits that I used to have when I lived in the Netherlands. Let's go! The special thing about these biscuits is the combination of spices that go into it. We're gonna need a bunch of cinnamon, nutmeg, star anise, cardamom, cloves, coriander, ginger, and finally some white pepper. And if you're like me that doesn't have a spice grinder, one of these things that doesn't really fit in the frame, much better. Now, the process is pretty easy. Just get to crushing whatever is not in the powder form and mix it all in a bowl. I don't really know the ratios, but I put more or less what I did in the recipe in the description, but feel free to adjust it however you prefer. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious either way. We add a little bit of this, a little more, more, a few spoons of that. Grate a little nutmeg, some more crushing. And apparently even some peeling. Give it all a little mix, and now we have brown gold. The rest of the recipe is pretty straightforward. Add some flour, some sugar. I decided to use a mix of white and brown sugar for a little extra oomph. Add some milk and diced up cold butter. While everything is mixing, remember that you forgot the most important element of this whole thing. The spices that you were crushing for half an hour. So, chuck a few spoonfuls of it in there and mix until everything combines. If the dough is struggling to come together, feel free to add a little bit more milk until it does. This dough is easier to work with when it's cold, so I split it into pieces and keep the ones I'm not working on in the fridge. Roll it into about two and a half centimeters thick and then cut and make little balls. After a few minutes, you should have something like this. Pop them in the oven and let's go take a look at our bolre. After a few hours, the dough should have doubled in size. And now we just need to make it into the traditional ring shape. We make a flat disc and put it on a tray, while slowly opening the hole in the center. 
Make sure the hole is a bit larger than you want the final one in the cake to be, since we're gonna proof it a second time and it will expand and close it in a little. Ooh, that sound means the paper note done already. Let's go take a look. Paper noten are so good. I underbake them a little, so they're a bit more chewy, but delicious. After this proof, the dough should be puffy and we just need to decorate and bake. Give it a nice egg wash so it gets a nice color in the oven and decorate with large crystallized fruits and whole nuts. I didn't mention before, but ginger is not the only special thing about this cake. Usually the fruits used are pumpkin, figs, orange peel, but I wanted to use fruits I like better, so we have papaya, pineapple, and mango. It's a tropical bolchai. And now to the oven. After a few minutes in the oven, all we need to do is brush it with some warm honey and add a couple piles of powdered sugar and enjoy! The dough I made was big enough for two cakes, and since this one is to take for Christmas dinner at Grandma's house, let's have a look at the cross section of the other one I baked for my house. Look at that! And that's it! For now, just stay safe and happy holidays! Bye.